Hey twins, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. And this is your energy update. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love. My twin, so if you're dealing with your twin flame, this certainly could hit home for you. If it does, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload these readings, all right? So we're going to jump right in and get some messages for you guys. Um, I am available for personal love readings should you need one. Um, my extended bonus readings will be up on Vimeo. So what I do is I um, typically focus on Oracle messages and then I clarify with the tarot in the extended reading. Okay, so if you resonate with these readings and you do want more, um, more information about the energy, okay, especially if you tapped into that particular reading, it's your energy and your, you and your twin, do check out the extended because it definitely has more messages for you. All right, let's jump right in. Let's see what's going on. All right, messages for the collective, those that are twin flames. What do we need to know? All right, sacrifice, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys, you had to make a sacrifice, okay? You may have sacrificed this connection because your person was unwilling to do something here. I'm getting, you gave up because your person was unwilling to either commit, you know, they may have um, abandoned the connection, right? So there's something here about someone made a sacrifice. It was almost like there was nothing else they can do, okay? Now, some of you guys, your, your twin sacrificed this connection, right? They just kind of just said, you know what? I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. Um, and it was a lot of love here, right? It was like they could have been so happy with you, but they sacrificed that. Others of you guys, you may decide to sacrifice the connection because you realize it wasn't going anywhere. You realize that your person had a lot of work to do. Some of you guys, you realize that it was just moving down and going to a dead end, right? There was no progress being made, okay? So there was some kind of sacrifice being made. We do have the number seven. The seven of wands in tarot is, is um, it's like it's, it's coming out at me right now. So some of you guys, it's like you really tried hard to protect the connection. It's like you gave it your every last fight, okay? The seven of wands is like you had to stand up for yourself. It came a point in time when you, you said, you know what? I have to fight for what I want. It's not just about what my person wants. What do I want, right? So a lot of you guys, you had to sacrifice. You may have walked away from this connection, okay, because you felt like you couldn't do anything for it anymore, right? You couldn't be the only person that was working in making this happen, okay? There was a lot of forces against you. We have triumph of lies. So some of you guys are dealing with someone who's a pathological liar, okay? I'm getting that they just could not tell the truth about anything, right? It's like you knew the truth and you still ask them, oh, what happened this night, right? Where were you when I called you? They still lied about it. So I'm getting that, you know, this connection was doomed because ultimately you're dealing with someone who lied about everything. Two truths, one lie, okay? Some of you guys are getting all lies. Everything that came out their mouth, it was a lie. And so it was really difficult to work with someone like this, right? And I'm even feeling like you knew when this person was lying, you recognize the way that they started acting, right? Sweating and nervousness. You knew when this person lied, but it was almost like they couldn't help it. No, they couldn't help it, okay? They tried, they tried to not lie, but it was almost like they just, they couldn't help it. <laughs> Everything that came out the mouth was a lie, and you caught them in the lies. Um, I won't cry for you. Wow. So there was a lot of sh um, tears that were shed. Okay, now some of you guys, you may have shed a lot of tears at one point um, during the separation. Some of you guys are still crying yourself to sleep, but this is this, these are real tears. Now I'm hearing this is your person's energy, but it could be your energy as well. It's almost like you know, you guys may be um, going through the same thing right now, but I'm feeling their their tears are for a different reason. They're crying because they lost you, right? They're crying because they did something to lose you. They may have sabotaged it, right? They let you slip through the cracks. They gave up on something here that was just really great for them, right? So I feel like now your person is crying because they missed out on something good. Now the tears that you guys felt, a lot of you guys, it was the hurt that you've experienced, right? This person, um, calling you awful things. I'm getting name calling. Maybe there was a bad argument. They said things, um, that was very hurtful, okay? It could have been the act of a betrayal, right? Some of you guys, you cried your eyes out. There was something just the way this person acted. They went cold. They went, 
um, they turned mean. Okay, so there's something here where you had you cried because I'm getting a lot of you guys. You may be very um in tune with your emotions and feelings, right? Some of you guys, you know, maybe they called you sensitive. Okay, but there's something about tears here. Fated to suffer. Fated to suffer. Wow. So I feel like your person, I'm getting some kind of karmic tie or karmic relationship here. I'm getting that your person made you suffer. So now they're having to, there's some kind of karmic consequence. Okay. So I'm getting that your person did something. Now they're having to suffer, right? I won't cry for you. They made you cry. Now they're having to reap what they sow. Right? So we have someone here, your twin, some of you guys, they're now suffering because they don't have you. They lost you. Now they're feeling alone. Okay? We have, what's this? A, alone in the world. Look at this. Alone in the world. Now we have someone who's miserable, who's in that five of pentacles energy, hiding your true self. Is this me? Wow. Okay. So we have someone here who is alone. They're suffering. Suffering in silence. Right? A lot of you guys are not talking to you right now. They're feeling really small in this big world. I'm getting, they even um, broke ties with some of their close friends or family, not just you. It's telling me that a lot of their relationships were affected because I'm getting that your person changed. All of a sudden they changed. We have someone here who's hiding their true self. All right. They're pretending to be something that they're not. I'm getting false mask, poker face. So this is someone who's going through some kind of change. Some of you guys, it could be because they're tied to someone that may not be healthy for them or may have a very, very bad negative influence on them. So some of you guys, it could be a karmic partner, okay? Is this me? See, they don't even recognize themselves anymore. When they look at themselves in the mirror, they don't even recognize who they are. So now they're questioning, is this really me? Did I really do all this, Right? Am I really this cruel and hurtful? Because I feel like your person doesn't even recognize the things they've done. It's like they may even forgotten some of the things they've said to you. Because it was like in the heat of the moment. And they're looking at themselves now like, did I really do that? Did I really hurt my person? So now they're feeling alone. Now they're feeling lost. Okay, lost soul, alone in the world. Okay, they definitely burned a lot of bridges. I even feel like a lot of you guys... You were their best friend. You were the person that they went to for everything. So not only did they lose their best friend, but they lost their lover, right? They lost someone who believed in them, who supported them. And so now they don't recognize themselves, okay? So that's the energy here. Let's see what else we have. All right, this deck of cards is coming from, um, this is called the Karmic Consequences. I've got to give her a shout out. Um, her name is Oracle Mystic, the Avatar Heart Priestess. She is on Etsy. Um, she gave me this deck of cards, so I wanted to be sure to give her a shout out. Okay. We have Joke Around Town. Constant Reminders. Drama. So now your person is being seen like the joke. Right? They're one big joke. I feel like this is someone who, um, there's a lot of gossip and rumors that's going around this person because now they're seen as someone who, I'm getting like they're just a hot mess. Okay? They're a hot mess. I'm even getting someone may have even gotten someone pregnant and now they're being seen as a joke. Like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Okay? I'm getting that they're definitely, um, for some of you guys, you are dealing with your divine masculine. Okay? And now they're being seen as a joke. Could be divine feminine as well, of course. Take it how it resonates. But now I'm getting this person has done some things that people don't look at them the same. People don't take them serious anymore. Because they made a lot of bad decisions, bad judgment calls. And now I feel like they're being seen um, by people as... Just a hot mess, a joke. People don't take them seriously anymore. So I also see this as someone who's constantly being reminded of you, all right? They could be like, all of a sudden, a picture of you pops up on their phone. They're dreaming about you, daydreaming at night. They're being reminded of you. This is someone who's constantly thinking of you. Six of Cups energy, all right? You're in their feelings. You're in their heart space. Of course, they don't want to tell you this, right? They don't want to tell you that they're constantly thinking about you. But I feel like when things are not going well in their life, when they're at this all-time low moment, okay, and point in their life, they're thinking about you, right? Because it didn't have to be this way. We also have drama. So this is someone who tracks a lot of drama in their life, okay? Especially if they're dealing with a the karmic. There's a lot of drama around that situation, 
and they're wondering why, okay, they, they can't put the two to two together. They don't realize that it's the karmic that is creating so much drama in their life. Now, others of you guys, it's just them. It's just them. That they just they just attract negativity. They're vibrating at a very low low frequency, right? And so they're wondering why they're attracting all this bad energy to them, right? Wow. Heartbreak, okay? We got paranoia and we got false happiness. So, yeah, there was some kind of betrayal. There was a lot of hurt. We got, um, I won't cry for you. So this could have been the heartbreak, right? This person broke your heart. But I also feel like they were very insensitive. They're very cold. I'm, I'm getting the way they did it. It happened very abruptly. And they never even apologized for it. It was like they ghosted you. They never gave you clarity. They never gave you truth. And you had to heal by yourself. A lot of you guys, you had to just focus on you and you heal by yourself. So you're no longer crying for this person, but now they're crying for you. I'm getting now the tables have turned, okay? Paranoia, this person is paranoid, stressed, they're overthinking right now. Like, what the hell did I just do? Is this me? I don't recognize myself, okay? Obsessively thinking of you, right? Constant reminders of you going around and around their head, paranoia, stressed about something. They're stressed about something they've done. I'm hearing stress about some lies that they've told that now it's coming out. Now it's being revealed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a lot of you guys are faking their happiness. They're not really happy, but they're going around smiling. Didn't I say poker face early? So this person is pretending to be happy. Right? Some of you guys, you may even interact with them, but they're pretending to be happy to give you the idea, oh, my life is good. I'm all good all by myself. Okay? Ain't nothing going on. Ain't nothing but a chicken wing. <laughs> they're faking their happiness right now, y'all. Any other messages? We have palm tree, stability, security, growth. Okay? So now your person is working on... Um, growing they're working on finding some kind of stability in their life right this is your person's energy they're tired of living like a hot mess they're tired of living um in this in this low vibrational energy this is someone who's now they're wanting some kind of security right they're thinking long term now and realizing they have to make some changes so i feel like a lot of you guys you had to set yourself apart or distance yourself from them because a lot of you guys you were focused on that that's what you were focused on this palm tree energy right security growth stability all right any of the messages we have kisses giving and receiving affection falling in love this person has some issues with regard to um receiving the love from you giving the love right there may have been some issues regarding their vulnerability being intimate Okay, so some of you guys, they were afraid. They were afraid to move forward and reveal their true self, right? They were hiding their true feelings for you guys. Um, yeah, you're definitely dealing with someone who really, they fell in love with you. But when it came time to actually show it, I feel like they pushed back, right? They disappeared. So this is someone who has some issues with actually um, showing the affection. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship. That's you guys. You're freeing yourself. You're healing, right? You're healing your heart chakra. There's a lot of hurt here that you guys are healing from. But one thing, see, the thing is that with this healing energy, a lot of you guys are learning how to heal, right? This is something a lot of you guys are experiencing a lot of um, lessons with this you know, healing heart energy. But I feel like this is right now, you guys are um, still overcoming a lot of hurt that you've experienced. But the good thing is that you're freeing yourself from this um, bondage, some kind of toxic tie that you had to this person. Um, it could have been a codependency, right? You felt the need to hold on to this person for as long as you could until you couldn't hold on to them anymore. So this is something that you guys are breaking away from. You're deciding to focus on you for once, right? Not on your person. You're focusing on you and what you need to do in a current moment, which is heal, right? Some of you guys are learning about what you're passionate about. You're learning about your spirituality. They're things that you're focusing on right now. We have the separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So yeah, along with the palm tree, now your person is thinking about the future, right? They're thinking about what's next. And a lot of you guys tell me that they don't even think about being with this karmic. Some of you guys, if there's a third party involved, they don't see a future with this third party. They don't. I'm getting time is up. Time is about to end with this third party. And now they're missing you. Now they're constantly being reminded of you, but they cause a lot of hurt. 
And now they're paranoid because they're like, well, damn, how do I come back to my person? Right? So they're missing you, yearning you, learn, yearning you, thinking about you, but they're unsure if you're even going to want them back because they know that they did a number on you. They know that they did so much damage. They don't recognize themselves. They sure know you don't recognize them. I feel like this is someone who did like a whole 360, right? They were very loving and affectionate. Maybe they, they, they seemed to be very, a lot of fun and um, sensitive. And all of a sudden it became cold and nasty and rude and disrespectful. And a lot of you guys, you do not recognize them, right? They deceived you. They blindsided you. They hid their true self. So there is separation here. But now, again, the tables are turning. And now they're sad. Now they're like, well, damn, I miss my person. I miss the person who loved me the most. Because I don't even love this person I'm with right now. We had the mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-image. Relationship reflecting on... Um, our wounds, introspection. So now your person is going within, right? Now they got some downtime and looking at themselves in the mirror and they saying, well, damn, I look bad, right? Because they're, they're showing the way they look on the outside is the way they are on the inside, which is pretty damn ugly. And they're like, well, damn, is this even me? Is this even me? <laughs> right? They don't recognize themselves. So definitely paranoid. They're paranoid because I feel like they really, um, you know, they sabotage something good. They sacrifice this connection and now they want it back. Now they want it back. So now they're looking back on this connection, that introspection. They're um, thinking about the damage they've caused, right? Looking at the wounds, the open wounds, um, things that they have to still be healed, Okay, and they're like, well, they're, they're, I'm getting a lot of you guys are feeling burdened by all of this. But they're walking around, acting like they're happy, everything's all good, but they're not. They're not. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted. This is someone who wants to offer you, um, I'm getting a date. They want to date again. They want to reach out to you, kind of like a page of cups energy. Can we talk about it? I want to apologize. I'm thinking of you, right? They're thinking of you first thing in the morning when they grab their cup of coffee. So this is someone who definitely wants another opportunity. They want to come back in your life in some way, but they're feeling like, I don't know how to. How do I go about it? How do I go about it when I've done so much damage here, right? All right, let's see. Any other messages for my twins out there? If this reading resonates for you, do check out the extended. I will clarify with the tarot. All right, it says speak out. Communicate and solve the conflict. So this is someone who wants to speak out. They have something to say, right? That coffee cup. It's like, let's let's talk it out. Um, this is someone who wants to communicate an effort to resolve some kind of conflict or tension between you and them. It's like now they want to talk about it right? Whereas in the past, they avoided conversation, right? They lied about everything here. Triumph of lies. They lied to avoid communication or avoid um, telling the truth and, you know, really speaking about what really happened. And now they want to speak out. Now they want to clear the air. Now they want to tell you what really, really went on, right? Silence the mind. It says, let silence guide you to your inner peace. This is what you guys are doing right now right? You're finding peace of mind in silence. A lot of you guys just like, you don't need this person to speak their truth anymore, right? Because a lot of you guys, when you wanted this person to speak up, they were unavailable, right? They never reached out. You expect this person to call. They ghosted you. They never called. And so now you guys are just fine. You found peace with what has happened, some of you guys, you found peace and healing through tarot. It says, let silence guide you to your inner peace. And that's what you guys did. You're now realizing that this silence is good. It's allowed you to heal, right? You licked your own wounds. You've moved forward. And that's what you guys are doing. Open mind. It says, replace the old cycle with a new and exciting one. So you guys are being very open-minded, Right? You're saying, well, if this person is not ready, if they still got work to do, then I'm going to live my life. I'm going to do what I need to do. Some of you guys are moving on. You're moving forward and dating new people with that coffee cup. All right, Making new friends. Maybe starting new things that you are passionate about. Okay, It says open-minded. Replace an old cycle with a new and exciting one. Some of you guys are saying, what the hell with this person right now? Okay, I'm closing that cycle and I'm moving forward with my life. And when this person's ready... Maybe I'll reconsider, 
right? It says slow down, slow down to relax, break to enjoy the beauty around you. So a lot of you guys, you're just focusing on you. You're slowing down, right? You're not so focused and fixated on this person right now. You're relaxing, you're meditating, you're grounding yourself, right? You're cleansing your chakras. I mean, this is about you enjoying you. Self-love. It says um, break to enjoy the beauty around you. Some of you guys are going out, doing things you want to do, connecting with nature, Beautiful energy. And last but not least, we have imagination. Draw from the well of your own capabilities. So a lot of you guys are telling me that you have a very, very vivid imagination. There's something all about manifesting. Maybe you guys are manifesting what you want. Very beautiful energy here. Um, a lot of you guys, you're really taking time to go within. You know you're stepping into your power. You know your worth. You know what you bring to the table. And you know that you're capable of anything, right? So just draw from the well of your own capabilities. So that is what I'm seeing, you guys. I'm going to extend the reading with Tarot and really... Um, Clarify some of these cards I pulled, joke around town, drama, these, and get some more messages, okay? So if you want to check that out, the link will be in the description box. If not, I'll check you guys out later. All right? Bye.